This is my review of the 2018 Indian Scout Bobber. Spec-wise, the Bobber takes its running gear from his slightly older brother, but more modern Scout, but strips it all back for that badass, mean, and moody, solo bobbed-out look. Like its brother, the Bobber is a liquid-cooled 60-degree V-twin with a 69 cubic inch displacement. At the crank, it makes manufacturers claimed 100 horsepower and 72 torques. You can reckon on about a 10 to 15% less uh, at the rear wheel, but it is competitive in performance terms. Suspension is via cartridge type forks and twin shock rear. It runs on 16 inch wheels with a 130 front and a 150 rear section tyre. Fully fueled, ready to rock, it's weighing in at 554 pounds or 251 in kilos. It has no special switch gear, rider modes, anti-lock brakes or traction control. However, a version with ABS is available in black smoke, which is a flat matte black finish. It's available in black, silver, red, or my pick, the bronze color. The bobber will set you back 11,999 US dollars, or 12,499 in the black ABS option. This is a bike I've been eager to ride since first seeing spy shots of the test mule. So come judgment day, what did I think of it? Well, style-wise, it's a knockout. It may not have the floating suspended seat and period-wired wheels of the Triumph Bonneville bobber, but it looks like it could bloody noses in a fist fight. Finish on the bike is good. It would have been truly excellent a couple of years ago, but it seems like every manufacturer has really upped their game on product fit and finish, uh, that it's really hard to kind of shine nowadays. Accessories wise, Indian are good at making accessories available for their bikes right from the launches nowadays. Whether you want a Triumph style floating seat or a pillion seat, which the, the Triumph can't accommodate, or just some look at me louder pipes, there's something in the catalogue for all. In terms of engine, although down on torque in direct comparison to the Indian Tourer's larger displacement 111cc Thunderstroke engine, in some ways I prefer it to that. It seems a little more refined, more eager to rev out, and it sounds nice too, whilst being mechanically quieter. I suspect its liquid cooling would help uh, keep heat away from riders on hot day, and it also aids in reliability. Overall it feels dependable. In terms of the clutch, that felt fairly light and had a smooth bite engagement. The gearbox, while maybe not as nice as some of the European brands, it still felt better than Harley Davidson's and Indian's own Tourers actually. Handling wise, there has to be some compromises somewhere and this is where it makes itself known. While there's nothing particularly bad about the shocks per se and its direct comparison, competition in terms of Harley Davidson with the 48, Triumph with its own bobber, uh, they have nothing to write home about in terms of ground clearance either. But the Indian bobber is truly de you know, dreadful really actually in this respect. I accidentally scraped foot pegs in the car park even before getting remotely close to being on an actual highway. Braking wise, there's decent feedback, smooth and uh, decent power. It stopped quicker than the Dark Horse, uh, that's for sure. Comfort wise, the standard seat is well padded uh, and some cruising pegs would help uh, in, in terms of doing bigger miles, I, I guess. I'm not sure whether they can actually be fitted, um, but the the seat is okay. Although being a bobber, there's not that much movement in those shocks, so comfort would definitely suffer um, on a longer ride. You do find yourself a bit f sort of kind of folded up, like doing a a, a swimming dive pike uh, with kind of you know your thighs and knees well forward, and also your torso. So it can be a bit hard on kidneys, I'd imagine, uh, on a longer ride. Controls wise, the switch gear was chunky and the mirrors were clear. But um, overall, um, nothing particularly special. Everything forced to hand in traffic like Grand Prix. Have an equal battle with the Harley through some Canyon Twisties. 
and perhaps outbreak them both when push comes to shove. Back in the real world, when you have to get around roundabouts, cars waiting to turn, or adjusting your line mid-corner as it begins to uh, tighten up more unexpectedly than you expected, I think the Triumph would literally run rings around both the Harley 48 and the Indian Bobber. I so wanted the Indian Bobber to be better than the Harley and the Triumph, and I saw it as a potential second bite for me. But for my needs, preferences and my personal opinion, the Triumph Bonneville Bobber betters it slightly in nearly every way uh, except except, uh, fuel range, stopping power, moody looks and the ability to take a passenger. However, for 2018 Triumph of Listen, they have a new Bobber Black which has murdered out meaner looks, utilising a smaller and fatter front hoop and also gaining a second front disc operated by Brembo Calipers and so we know they'll work. They are also releasing a Bonneville bobber based on an all-new Speedmaster, which will offer passenger pavilion and cool accessories such as beach bars, etc. If all this sounds like the Indian bobber is a bad bike, then you'd be wrong. It's a great bike. It's just that the competition is hotter than ever, and it doesn't seem like a month goes by when there isn't a new black to get all unnecessarily excited about. I was very excited by the Indian, but alas, it's not for me even if bikes like the Springfield are a possible future purchase. But for me, I rank it Triumph first, Harley second, and sadly Indian last. However, there is a slight fly in the ointment. Indian's own non-bobber scout. Still a great looking bike, miles better ground clearance, and with forward controls, far easier for someone of my 6 foot 2 inch height to get along with. I would place the regular scout above the bobber and Harley Davidson's 48. But if you want the best in class, then you need Triumph's fastest selling bike of all time, at least in my humble opinion. If this is a segment you are thinking of buying into, please ride all three bikes, preferably on the same day, then let me know your own conclusion. I'm eager to see your feedback. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please subscribe, like and share. Lastly, but not least, ride often, ride safely, ride on.